If you look at modern arrows, most of them have plastic knocks. A more traditional way is to use self knocks, which you file directly into the arrow shaft. There may be several reasons for which you might want to use the old school version, although it requires some additional work. Maybe you just want to save money, you would like to have individual and authentic arrows, or you are in a survival situation. I will show you my method of creating self knocks. You need an arrow shaft, a saw, a half round file, if you like, another finer model, a small round file, which is about as wide as your surfed string, a pencil, yarn, I use serving yarn, any kind of glue, and sanding paper. Start by drawing a line perpendicular to the annual rings. Afterwards, mark how deep you want your knock to be. Mine is about 1 cm. Fasten the arrow shaft, for example in a vise, and use soft wood like pine to protect it from damage. Make a cut down to your mark. File both sides of the end in a 45 degree angle perpendicular to the cut. This will later reduce the force holding back the arrow on its release. Create a flatter angle at the cut's inner sides. This will make your string slip in easily. Use the round file to widen the slot. Afterwards, you can use a finer half round file to smoothen your work. To get the knock really slick, such that the arrow releases easily, use some sanding paper. If you leave it like that, a strong bow will split your arrow. That is why you should apply some windings of yarn. Fixing one end to the shaft using some tape makes things easier. Start your winding about 1 cm from the knock. Pull it really tight. After some windings, take a prepared loop and wrap it inside. Make sure the knot points away from the knock or you will have problems to get it out again. Take off the tape and put it aside. Afterwards, pull the yarns loose and tight and fold it back. Use the tape to fasten it again, such that it is kept out of your way. As soon as you reach the knock, cut the yarn but leave some loose end to work with. Fiddle this end through the loop and pull it through the winding. Cut both ends short, but don't damage the winding. Use any kind of glue to fix everything in place and you are done. If you like, 
You can even create more decorative versions and combine it with your flat chain. 